You can literally force your bones to grow and get taller at any age, even after puberty. Now you will probably tell me, but Levin, that is not true, otherwise everyone would be six feet. And yes, you are right. If everyone would know about this, there wouldn't be any people under six feet. Don't believe me? Look at the Maasai tribe from Kenya, Africa. They practice these methods I am going to share with you in this video every single day. And because of that, the average male height in the Maasai village is six feet three. They are able to grow to such heights using the scientific phenomenon called Wolf's Law, which was developed by the German anatomist and surgeon Julius Wolf in the 19th century. This states that bone in a healthy animal will adapt to the loads under which it is placed. This is for example why bodybuilders have much denser bones than other people. Based on this information, the Maasai tribe have developed a certain jumping technique that can make you grow significantly taller if combined with the right diet and habits. In this video, I am going to teach you the three steps the Maasai use to grow taller at any age, with the last step being the one technique that will literally force your bones to grow taller. But this won't work without the right diet. So let's start with step number one, food and supplementation. First off, all you will need to avoid foods high in oestrogen because studies show that lower oestrogen delays growth plate closure. Growth plates on average close around the ages of 17 to 25. The closer you are to 25, the more protein and HGH IGF-1 you'll need to get results. But don't worry if you are over 25 because although your growth plates may be closed, the bone will still be able to grow using micro fractures which we will talk about later. Foods which will increase HGH and IGF-1 are rich in melatonin and animal protein like fatty fish, steak, eggs, or oysters. For optimal height growth, you will also want to completely cut out processed food of any kind. Additionally, I recommend you to start taking a vitamin D3K2 supplement for maximum results, as well as the mineral zinc, magnesium, and boron, because these are necessary components for your bones to grow. Now once you got all this in place, you can move on to the two supplements that will supercharge your height growth completely. Starting with collagen. Pure collagen contains 90% protein and is made out of animal bones. I recommend taking 15 G of 100% grass-fed cow collagen every day. The Maasai tribe consumes this with every meal since they cook almost anything with bones and bone broth from their own animals. The second supplement is arginine. This supplement can single-handedly modulate growth hormone release by suppressing its endogenous inhibitory regulator, somatostatin. And on top of that, it also induces the release of HGH during the night. During the night, 90% of growth hormone gets produced, which leads us to step number two, sleep optimization. Without the right sleep protocol, nothing else on this list will work. You need to follow the sleep rituals of the Maasai tribe, which means adapting your sleep schedule to the circadian rhythm, which includes going to sleep every day at the same time and also waking up at the same time. This is really important because growth hormone production happens mostly during the first two hours of sleep between 10 p.m. and midnight. So for optimal growth hormone release, go to sleep at 10 p.m. every night and wake up at 7 a.m. every morning. A bonus tip from me is to always take your supplements in the evening because this will boost HGH production at night even more. Sadly, all this won't have any effect if you don't watch out for the three things the Maasai tribe always avoids before going to sleep. Number one, never eat something sugary in the last three hours before sleeping. Yes, this means not even fruit, because the sugar would spike your insulin which can drastically stop high production. Number two, this one is a no-brainer for the Maasai tribe because they don't even have access to the internet, but it can be a big reason why you aren't growing right now and that is to avoid blue light before sleep at all costs. Luckily, you can easily fix this by just wearing a pair of blue light blockers once it gets dark outside. 
Number three, don't have any light in your room while sleeping. If you live in a big city, the street lights will stop your room from being pitch dark. After turning out all the lights slows the curtains every night so it is literally pitch black. Otherwise, the light at night will mess with your circadian rhythm. Now we have finally reached the final and most important step, the Maasai jump. First, I will show you a video of the Maasai doing the jump, and then I will break down how and how often you should practice the jump at home. The most important thing, other than the right jumping technique, is to follow a daily routine of stretches designed to make your body willing to grow taller. If you want completely free access to the stretching routine and also early access to my new program, Ascend Academy, which will be launching on the 26th of July, click the first link in my bio. Watching the Maasai jump, you will immediately notice the incredible body and jumping height of the Maasai. Obviously, you won't be able to do it even nearly as well as them in the beginning, but with time, you will get better and better. Before learning how to do it correctly, we will need to understand why this practice can actually lengthen the bones. This happens because repeatedly practicing this vertical jump for 10, 15 minutes every day will create micro fractures in the shin. Once this happens, Wolf's Law comes into play because as we already learned under repeated pressure of the bones, they will grow back bigger and stronger. And in this case, because of the precise movement in which the micro fractures happen, also longer. The three rules to jump like the Maasai are, rule number one, while jumping, feel the stiffness in your body from your head to the heels. Rule number two, your knees and hips need to be muted but not locked. And rule number three, never touch the ground with the back of your feet in between jumps. Most of the jumping power needs to come from your ankles. Now that you have created these micro fractures, your bones will start to regrow bigger. But if you now rest in a standing or normal sitting position, they will become wider, not longer. But since we want them to grow more vertically, sit at the side of your bed or somewhere high enough for your legs to hang down. Now add ankle weights and stay in this position for 45 to 60 minutes. If you do this consistently every day before sleeping combined with everything else mentioned, you will grow at least 2 to 3 inches taller, no matter your age or genetics.